Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine, and today we're going to get a workout building our cycle count routine. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our routine. Okay, well, let's look at our project. Let's start with that. So here's our routine. Here's our project, and every time that this machine is cycled, so here we got we got uh, loading in our parts, clamping the parts pushing in the drivers, part mark, and then unloading our parts. That is one complete cycle, all right? So what we're gonna do is wanna be able to track that, all right? So very simple. We're gonna come over and we're gonna build our routine. Now there's more than one way to build a routine, all right? But I think you need to start with a way of doing it. And then uh, from there you can um, add or modify or change it however you want. Um, but at least you have something to start with, you know, and that's what's important. So what you'll do is take this this routine and kind of save it as a as a good basic starting point. All right, and that's that's real important is is to do that. All right, so um, I've already put in our tags. Um, so. All right, status sequence. What we're going to do is we're going to look to get this um, at the end of our auto cycle. Once we hit that, the status is is goes high for this part uh, prompt to remove the part. So in our project, when that part comes out and it's done, okay, part marks there, we are going to get... And when we open it up, we're going to get a prompt that says remove the part. Okay. And so that's what we're, we're looking at. That's what's going to happen here. So let's go over here and give our one shots for our count. Put the caps on. Oh, underscore. All right. So we have that. We are going to get our uh, life cycle count one shot here. Uh huh. I okay. got. Modify that from a, all right. That is our life cycle count one shot. And where we're at, so okay, here we're gonna put in tag, here's count. And we'll move that down here also, count. And this can be our life cycle count. Okay, and down here as well. Okay, we're going to get another rung in here. <clears throat> and that rung is going to be our, how we're going to reset it. Oop, let's get that down here. And we're going to put a move instruction. All right, over here. Oop, if I can put it in the right spot. And we'll put our count down here All right and zero and over here we're going to put our account reset over here okay we're going to get a another rung and we're going to <clears throat> compare all right Greater than and equal. All right, we'll put that here. And then we're going to go to our favorites. We'll get a uh, counter done. Once I'm done with this, uh, we'll, we'll walk it through so that you're, you're positive, you understand it. It's unmistakable. 
uh, you'll have it, you'll understand it, and I encourage you to build it and build it a lot. Do it over and over and over so you so that you know it very well. Um, and our whoop, that's a preset. Okay, and we'll just make that oh, 108 maybe. I'm just throwing a number out there. Okay, and then we're going to get one more rung. Yeah, one more rung. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to uh, give up uh, count preset, be able to give it permission to have a count preset. All right, so we're going to get a couple of move instructions. Oop, down here. And now, mind you, I'm not showing you this because I think I'm the best programmer in the world. There are lots of other great programmers. This is what I'm doing to get my practice on, to keep my skills sharp uh, for days that I'm not doing it. And there are days that I, weeks, sometimes even a month or so, I'm not doing any programming. And um, because I'm, I spend time doing project management. I have several projects I'm working on right now that, that's taking up a huge amount of my time. And so at night, I am working on my um, programming. So I'm, I'm working at home, uh, just like you guys, doing the exact same thing. Um, um, practicing, which is exactly what everyone should be doing if they want to improve their skill set in this um, in this industry okay so count preset here uh, batch count preset there batch count preset here count preset here okay so now Okay, um, what do we have? Let's check our our routine here. <clears throat> and we got was uh, okay. So uh, in our there we want to go. Oh, uh, that's right. I want to put a numeric in there. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do? A little check it. Does anything seem to be out of place? All right, no. All right, so here's what we got. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and accept our edits. And there we go. So now we are ready to go. So if I... Enable my forces, toggle my bit, I've got a count, okay? Toggle it off, and I'm toggling. So every time in my auto sequence that I get a to the bottom of my auto routine, I'm going to trigger this, uh, this input right here. And I'm going to write a one to the bit box, and I am then going to um, increase my counts. So my one shot here is putting, putting my my count, my cycle count. Okay, this is the lifetime of the cycle count. All right, big difference. So I'm counting this, and then the life cycle count. Now I can uh, reset my cycle count. Okay, right here. All right, so, so as you can see, I am able to reset my cycle count. All right, retoggle retog that. All right, go back and I will add some more counts. Boom, bam. Okay, so now I have two, I have three. Toggle that back off. When I'm ready, I will. Toggle that count to zero. 
Now what you'll notice here is my life cycle count hasn't changed at all. And that's that's exactly what we want, okay? So if my count is greater than a 108, I will have a counter done. Now I can I can have this set through my HMI and change this to, to any preset that I want. Okay, so um, that's that's real important. So in my cycle, I, every operator may need to get um, 100 parts done in you know a two-hour period, and they will they don't have to pay attention to the count. They'll wait for the the indicator on the HMI to give them a message that the cycle, the, the cycle, the count, um, machine cycle count is done. It'll give you, it'll get that through this counter done bit right here. All right. Now to change the preset. All right. This is a password authorization right here. And that's could be through your HMI or will be through your HMI. Give it permission to set what the preset is. That's all this is right here. Okay. So if I toggle this bit, that's going to give me the ability to uh, count preset. Okay. And I can put this in batches so I can make this, I can make this a 10 if I so choose. And then what I can do is come up here and toggle my bits 10 times off and on. All right. Probably should have picked a smaller number, <laughs> but uh, four. We'll just do this a few times. It's kind of five, six, just so that you can see the whole sequence here. Um, and so, what I would like you to do, uh, you know, I think what's valuable for you to do is take this code, build it yourself, and then save this routine somewhere. Save it so that you can look back on it when you need to put together some code. There's our done bit right there. We've met our batch, okay? All right, so what happens if I toggle it again? We're gonna be right, we're gonna go over it. So it's we don't have anything that stops it. If it goes, meets that preset count, so there's nothing here that stops it. You know, you would uh, once we get that, if we wanted to put in code here, that it won't go over that. I won't let the machine cycle if they once it gets to its uh, batch count preset. You would have to then come and reset it. But we haven't made that accommodation. That would be something that would be pretty cool for you to uh, write in your code, so that you just get some practice adding that type of um, instruction here so, and, and and the neat thing is you can continue to add different pieces um however you want in this here this counter done bit can trigger um a, a and on light say a green and on light boom you've made your or a red one for example boom stop your production you've made your preset your batch count preset all right so there's a lot of different ways and a lot of things you can do with this but what's most important is you got you got a a Part of a routine here it's pretty much most of what you would need to get your count and your life cycle count for a production run all right so this is paul with logics magazine just wanted to share this with you it was great doing this for me i, I enjoy uh writing this code and getting back to it i haven't actually wrote a this piece for um production count in a while actually so uh, it was nice going back and revisiting it all right so until next time this is Paul with Logix Magazine, and get out there and work out. Get get your code on, all right? Talk to you later.